Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So today we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of hand welted shoes. Uh, for comparison, this is a shoe battle of the hand welted split toes, and this is going to be China versus Italy. Um, now, both of these are, um, are custom shoes that had a lot of different pieces uh, put into it. Uh, the Mirmens here were actually $510, um, and the Enzo Boniface were $620. Uh, so a little bit of a difference in price, but we're going to talk about them in the same category um, for now anyway, even though um, Enzo is clearly a tier two brand and Mirman is clearly a tier four brand. Um, this is a significantly upgraded Mirman. So let's talk about how and why, right? So as we look at Mirman, um, you can get the Cony uh, this is Cognac um, Utah Calf. You can get this shoe with the regular rubber sole and a regular Goodyear welt uh, for 200 bucks. But when you start making upgrades, that's where the price starts to increase. And this has a Norvegese stitch for a welt. So it's a hand welted shoe, okay, which also upgrades the lining um, to, from a regular veg tan lining to a Depoy lining. Um, and then I also upgraded the soles to a JR sole, double sole. Uh, which is another upgrade as well. So, uh, and this is actually one that I did not do off of a regular, um, a regular uh, MTO uh, that they have and that they've advertised. This is an example of me just writing to them and saying, hey, I would really like to get this shoe, but I'd like to get it this way. Can you help me? And they can, which is pretty exciting. Uh, not something that uh, every maker can do. Uh, it took about eight weeks maybe even 10 weeks in order to do so it's not for the faint of heart it's certainly not somebody who's used to buying shoes that are in stock uh it's hard to be patient but they did a nice job uh all the way around the uh the stitching here is all hand stitched and the quality and the depth of the stitches is all really well done the uh reverse stitch here also well done now if you're looking for skin stitch in some of the higher end um things you're not going to get it from Mirman. And Utah calf also has its own characteristics. So this is not as uh, close together as you would see on some other shoes, uh, even from Mirman, uh, just because Utah calf is a little bit harder to work with, maybe a little bit thicker. Um, and they, you know, if you skive here at the, the tension point, that can be um, bad <laughs> for the life of the shoe. Uh, when we look at, um, and this is a standard classic, you know, blucher with heel caps, okay? Then when you look here, this is a very different design. Um, this is a dual top line, and this is a single piece of leather here, and then it wraps around the heel all the way to the split toe again with another piece of leather there, and of course also with the dual top line there. So this is um, very similar to uh, the cut of, the, uh, of many of the higher end shoes. And then the apron here is also quite different, okay? And you can see how that is joined together. Also very well done. Also hand welted, um, although this is not a Norvegian stitch. This is just regular hand welting with a flat weld. Um, and this has a, uh, a, a 270 weld versus uh, this is a 360 weld. So. Uh, some interesting uh, interesting things there, right? Uh, so you can see that the heel is a little bit narrower on this. Uh, you can see that the level of fudging on both of the shoes um, is visible, you know, with the naked eye. You can see the job that they do. Pretty, pretty nicely done. And then on these Enzos, one of the things that I requested was for a different type of sole. And this is a Vibram rubber sole that they put on. These studs, I like these, um, and I like the way the, the Vibram feels. It's uh, a little bit more grippy than, uh, than Day Night, although both are very good and uh, very happy with it. So all said and done, 
both shoes are are pretty well made they have um you know they're both made with very very thick leather now the um the enzo is with a sienna horween hatch grain um so and you can look at it when you look here at the edge right here just how thick that leather is it's pretty thick there's a very small piece of piping in between and you can see the same with the utah grain again with that very very thin piece of piping in between um so they uh each case they uh they make the shoes well now i i don't have a a problem saying that the quality of the craftsmanship um on the enzo banafe is slightly better i think the stitch density is higher i think that the attention to detail and different parts of the shoe like especially around the apron is a little bit higher i think that this has a little bit too much of an upturn on the edge um and uh that's that's probably not something that i would look at again if i look at these compared to uh my other shoes in in a similar color in utah calf which are my edward green dovers they are certainly a higher degree of attention to the detail like that but you'd expect them to be right these are $500 shoes those are $1,600 shoes so pretty big difference there so as we look at these they're close in price but the uh the level of a detail on the Enzo is just a bit higher um and there's a lot of very very small things um but you know from a from a big block right think think big rocks what are what are the things that you know, make a big difference in the shoes. Um, 90% is the leather, okay? And 10% is the craftsmanship. And I would say that these are probably 90% similar. Um, so there, there definitely is a 10% edge that I would give to the Italians uh, that built this shoe in, in Naples, but uh, just 10%. So now 10% is a lot, right? I mean, if, if you think about most shoes being within 15, um, 10, 10 is quite a bit, but uh, still something to uh, definitely consider. So that is my discussion around these two split toes. Let me know your thoughts. Did I miss anything? Is there a detail that you sh would like to have seen different? Let me know. Thanks. Bye.